Before we get into the video, people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins to be in with a chance of winning them. Make sure you are subbed to this channel, have that bell notification button ticked, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in that video description. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you the latest news surrounding Apex Legends and we have news on an update coming to the game which is going to nerf the wingman, nerf the peacekeeper. There's words on the battle pass, there's words on nerfing certain legends, hitbox information and much much more. But before we get into the video guys, if you do enjoy it, leaving a like really does help out. And if you are new around here and enjoy these daily Apex Legend videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, just recently Respawn have made comments on a patch coming to the game before Season 1 and the Battle Pass lands and in this patch we are getting many changes to legends, weapons and so much more. So let's get into the entire statement people that Respawn not long dropped. Quoting Respawn right here. Hey everyone, first off, we know you folks are fired up for info on Season 1 and Battle Pass. We still have work to do uh, to get everything ready for prime time and won't be talking about it yet. There are a lot of moving parts and coordination that go into big announcements and launches like this so please be patient. I know the wait sucks but it's coming and ask that you all be patient with us. We're being patient Respawn, we just want the Battle Pass and I speak for the millions out there, we need that Battle Pass. Okay, so quoting them again, over the course of this week, we'll be talking about a few hot topics and we're kicking things off today with a patch that is live on all platforms with some fixes. Our first tweaks to the meta and we'll give a preview of how we'll be addressing legend balance and hitboxes for season one. To talk about how we're thinking about the game balance and some changes we've made, I'd like to introduce designers Lee Sean and Brent, who will give their point of view Okay, so quoting Lee and Sean right here. A core philosophy of our development process for Apex Legends is to listen to player feedback, pass through all the data we get from the game, try things and then play test them a ton to get them just right. And repeat, the goal is to ship polished closer to the mark updates than if you got things out rapidly and iterated in the live environment. We know you all are putting a ton of time into the game and mastering every nuance like Wraith portaling people off cliffs for the final kill lulls. Our goal is to make less frequent, better tested, higher impact changes so it minimizes the effects on your time spent mastering a particular mechanic, weapon or even character. You shouldn't have to read our patch notes every few days just to keep up with how characters and weapons now work. The exception here is that we will be very quick to adjust things that are way out of balance. For example, if we released a new character that completely dominates the meta from day one, we'll address it ASAP. We didn't want to make any hasty changes around launch because we know a ton of players are still learning the game with lots of new legends dropping every day. This week, 1 meta versus week 2 and 3 was meaningfully different from what we've seen. So I want to make it sure it settles a bit before we act. For example, Mirage's power level has dropped a bit as players have adapted to getting bombarded. We want to let you know we're constantly reviewing the state of the game and considering and testing a variety of changes. With the above philosophy in mind, I wanted to give a quick update on where we stand with the current state of character and weapon balance and provide an early preview of the things we're planning to do for Season 1. Weapon Balance Overall, we feel that the current weapons present solid options for a variety of gameplay styles. we found that the school piercer wingman has been on the stronger end, but it's designed to be a weapon with a higher skill ceiling. Our adjustments are attempting to move it to more into the hand cannon space and away from full auto deagle. We've also adjusted the rate of fire on the peacekeeper with shotgun bolt attachments, so players will have a larger window of vulnerability if they miss their shot. Additionally, the scariest of energy ammo and lower number of energy weapons overall has made those weapons difficult to main, so with increased energy weapon and ammo availability. Weapon adjustments are live on all platforms. Wingman, rate of fire reduced from 3.1 to 2.6. School piercer, headshot damage multiplier reduced from 2.5 to 2.25. Increased base fire hip spread and decreased the rate at which hip fire spread decays, shrinks back down. The Peacekeeper, shotgun bolt chamber rate has been reduced for the Peacekeeper only. Level 1 mitigation, 10% down to 7.5. Level 2 mitigation, 20% down to 13%. 
and level 3 mitigation 25% down to 16%. Wingman and Peacekeeper availability has been reduced in all zone tiers. Increased availability of energy weapons and ammo in all zone tiers. Damn people. It's actually quite big changes and I think we're going to see a major difference with the Wingman. I mean the Peacekeeper, yeah okay it's getting a slight nerf but hey the fact that they're making these much rarer to find as well that's craziness what do you feel about that let me know down below in that comment section now they go on to ask themselves why no p2020 or more than big buffs they state we love your big meme so we'll hesitate to lose that obviously joking in all seriousness our goal is to have a power curve of weapons power curve just means some weapons will be weaker and more common while others will be stronger and rarer. Some weapons are intentionally less powerful until fully purpled with hop-ups and attachments, while other weapons on the bottom of their power curve are your early game better than melee but got upgrade out of ASAP weapons. We've seen some good feedback from players about how to make these pistols more exciting without losing out on the goal above that we're listening to. We'll be continuing to watch player data and feedback and trying things out internally, but for now, they remain the same additional patch notes fix some script errors that we identified were occasionally causing disconnects during matches caustic occasionally causing disconnects while throwing its ultimate pathfinder occasionally causing disconnects when activating a server beacon players occasionally causing disconnects when removing an attachment gibraltar occasionally causing disconnects when pulling up his gun shield players occasionally causing disconnects when entering spectate mode addressing legend balance and hitbox feedback our goal is to be able to have our characters with different rig sizes, hitboxes and ability kits and still have each character be roughly equal in power level, win rate and viability of pick. For character balance we look at a combination of things, pick rate, win rate and character v character matchup win rate among other metrics and of course player feedback. The result between the 5 small and medium rig characters have been positive. They are all in a safe band of relatively equal power. Our large rig characters however are underpowered and their natural size appears to be a larger contributor. We're planning on adjusting the size of the large character hitboxes to better fit the model. If these changes are insufficient to bring these characters in line, we're also considering a range of other changes such as natural damage reduction as well as individual kit power tweaks. Many of these changes are significant. We want to make sure they are heavily tested before they go live in the event they are necessary. Below is a quick overview on the roadmap of how we're thinking about bringing large characters back in line. Overall, we want to try to increase the power level of the large rig characters before we consider large nerfs to everyone else. While we've made small adjustments, we're hopeful that increasing the power of large rigs is healthier than nerfing everybody else. Legend adjustments were made at the start of Season 1. Major balance changes, hitbox size reductions and optimizations for Caustic, Pathfinder and Gibraltar. We're better sizing hitboxes to character gear and model. Since these adjustments have a major impact on the game, we want to make sure they aren't any major bugs, so we didn't want to rush them out. If these adjustments prove to be insufficient, we'll consider additional adjustments during Season 1. Major balance changes. Caustic. Traps reduced to 25 seconds from 30 seconds. Increased radius and proximity radius by 10% on these traps, and removed a 1 second delay on the smoke dealing damage to players. Pathfinder, inside the knowledge, increase the number of beacons in the world to 12 from 10. Lifeline, care package, move slight chance that level 4 armor and helmets will drop. Wraith, into the void, cooldown increase from 20 seconds to 25 seconds. Bangalore, double time, reduce move speed bonus to 30 from 40%. Wow. We appreciate all the feedback and please keep it coming as you are playing these changes let us know how you feel. So some major changes there people and it's good to see they're actually planning on buffing the bigger characters rather than nerfing the others and hopefully that does go well. So yeah guys quite some big changes that have been made to the game and some that will come with season 1 too. I just hope the changes they are making are truly right. I mean the wingman I mean okay I believe I made a video on it the other day I believe it takes skill to use the weapon. I'm not sure about reducing its damage or rate of fire is the right nerf to give it. I mean, I believe it just had too much range. 
because it is a very inconsistent weapon for many people like it is for me. The Peacekeeper I can kinda understand, but I don't think the nerf on that is that bad. The fact that both the Peacekeeper and the Wingman though have both been basically reduced so you won't find them as often, that could work one of two ways. It could be to a point of where only a few players get it and they've just become overpowered and you can't touch them, or it will work for the good but we will see people. But yes, this patch went live as the same March 6th, so that's already gone. It's now March 7th. So expect all changes that we have spoke about besides the ones coming with season one to be live in game now. So have fun people, I am going back to bed. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like, it really does help out. Tell me what you think about these patch notes down below in that comment section. Anything here you think scares you on the game going forward in terms of balance, let me know. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.